hi guys and welcome back to the channel i know i know this video is way overdue but i promised i would share this with you so don't judge me y'all life has just been moving so fast i've even been forgetting what day it is sometimes but i'm not complaining 2021 is our year we are going to be making some big big moves but anyways y'all know i am a full-time braider but i still want my nails to be cute especially since they are the real star of braid school <laughs> ever since i can remember i have always had thin nails the second they grow out to even a quarter of an inch they peel right off for years, I used to get acrylic overlays, then gels, but when I started braiding full time, it was really hard for me to keep up with them and find a good nail tech to make appointments. It was just really hard. Anyways, I started wearing press-ons during the weekend, but then I would have to take them off when it was time to go back to work. That is until braid school came along and of course the star of the show needed to be snatched all the time. It took me a long time to find the magic mix of products and process so here is how I do my press-ons and get them to stay on for up to three weeks. As a braider, yes, up to three weeks. I started by gently pushing back my cuticles and back in the day I used to gently file my cuticles with a regular nail file but now I have this handy e-file I got off of Amazon. It's pretty cool because it comes with all these different attachments. I just apply the pointy file grit one. I don't know what it's called. Like I said, I'm not a nail tech, um, but I filed down my cuticle with that one really gently. It has like a speed setting on it. So I always put it on the lowest setting so I don't mess around and tear up my fingers. Once I filed the cuticle down, then I use the regular file to buff the surface of the nail. This step is critical because the rough surface gives the nail glue something to adhere to. Then I trim my nails all the way down with a nail clipper. Since I can't keep them past a certain point, there's no point in keeping them long. It also keeps um, the dirt and all that from getting caught between the nail and the press-on as the weeks go on, so I just keep them short. Don't get me wrong, when I do take these press-ons off, I do get a lot of growth but it doesn't last long. They eventually start peeling within a couple of days. Before I apply the nails, I always rub the nails with alcohol to remove any oils. When it comes to choosing nails, I always go for the short almond shape. These are some of my favorite drugstore and beauty supply store nails I like to use. I have to stick with designs with a smooth surface, although the ones with the stones and the jewels are really nice. They just aren't feasible for my occupation. The hair is just going to get caught or snagged. These ones are some cheapy Amazon go-tos I like to use because they already have the color and they won't rub off and I can customize them with foil or gel polish if I want to. If you don't like glue, most of the drugstore and beauty supply store and nails that you buy already made come with these sticker adhesives. They don't work for me, but I know people who swear by them. These babies right here are my absolute favorites of all time. These are made by Bella Nails and I can only find them at Sally's Beauty. I love the specific shape and the length and the color is like a duo chrome greenish purple. It complements my skin tone and practically goes with everything I wear. I know the people in my area are like super mad because whenever I can find these in any Sally Beauty, I buy them all. I mean, I buy them all. But I'm not going to apply these in this video today. I'm going to go with these pink ones um, that I found at the beauty supply because I thought they were kind of cute. Applying these press-ons are pretty simple. I remove them from the pack and size them to each of my fingers. Once I've sized them all, I grab my e-file again and gently buff the inside of each nail. Remember, we need that rough edge to get the glue to adhere properly. Now here is my holy grail. I swear I've tried every nail glue on the face of this planet, but this is the only one that works for me. It's by Beauty Secrets at Sally's Beauty, and this little tube lasts me well over a year. I think it's like six or seven bucks. So the investment is a no-brainer. To apply the glue, I apply a couple of dots on each nail, then apply the press-on by sliding it on the nail to distribute the glue evenly. Then I slide it as close or sometimes right under the cuticle, and I hold it for a solid 15 to 20 seconds to make sure all, there's no air trapped under it. 
Sometimes if the nail has a curve, I will press and mold it down like this. When I do my left hand, it's harder for me to apply the glue on my nail. So I'll apply the glue on the press on first and then apply it the same way. Once they are all applied, I file them down to my liking. A lot of press-ons will have a small piece of plastic at the ends, so you have to file them down anyway. Usually I will work to try to do this on like a Saturday night or a Sunday morning, or right at the beginning of a work break, so I can wear them long for a while. But when it's time for me to get back to work, I will clip down my thumb, index, and middle finger to a more manageable length. I will leave my ring and my pinky long because it helps with cornrows and stitch braids. Now sometimes I'll find a drugstore brand I like but it may need a little bit of jazzing up. So I'll break out my gel polish and add a coat to a nail or two and cure it under my lamp. This is a set I bought off of Amazon a long time ago. I love it. It was fairly inexpensive, has a lot of colors and glitters. It also comes with a base coat and top coat. The gold in this set that I'm wearing right now was a little too plain for me, so I just added a little glitter top coat to cover it. This trick also works if you make a mistake. I think I got some glue on the top of one of them in this case and I had to cover it up. Once I'm all done, I go back over my cuticles with this brush oil and I'm all set. This particular set I wore for a couple of days long and then ended up cutting down those three fingers once the work week started. Now if you're like me and you like your customization like this one, I highly recommend seeking out a custom press-on maker. This particular set I got custom made by a nail artist by the name of Nails by Malaysia V. And I can truly vouch for them. I've been braiding hair for a week straight and between products, braids, hand washing, these nails have stayed pristine. No cracks, chips, or polish rubbing off. Super durable, I highly, highly recommend. I will leave a link to her page in the description below. And if you give her my code, Vandy V, you will get 10% off your order. So that's it for the video, you guys. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you back here for Braid School on Monday. You guys have a great weekend. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.